Okay, so we are here in a hoi ho. A hoi ho. A hoi <laughs> It's another language, so she's going to tell us how to pronounce this name and what does it mean. I will. Yeah. Quickly, a hui ho is something we learned on vacation. So we took okay. our family to Hawaii. We went for a dive day. It was fantastic experience for the kids. The people were excellent. And at the end of the day, the lady said, "I won't say goodbye. I'll say a hui ho." And I said, "What does that mean?" And she said, "It's a term among friends that means stay well until we meet again." Oh, and so I love the sentiment that. of what that means is why when we opened the shop I said I know what I want to call it and my husband oh. said why would you do that it's so hard to pronounce yes it is but I get it ahoy ho ahoy ho ahoy ho <laughs> See, it's a topic. But it's a topic, and it's, the meaning is so... The meaning sick. is what matters. Oh. It is really what matters. So we want to, that's the feeling wow. we're after. You know, a friendly feeling where you feel comfortable and you want to come back. I love it. I'm sitting here with Leona. She is the owner uh, and operator of this fabulous cafe. And there's so many parts to this cafe and you're so passionate about mm -hmm, what you mm -hmm. do and why you do that you're going to carry this uh this interview on your own so the meaning of your cafe but talk about your cafe mm -hmm. what why did you choose this cafe and so about four years ago we started with the idea that we wanted to create a comfortable clothing brand and as we started to define it we wanted it to be Canadian made because they're, that's harder to find these days. And we wanted it to be very, um, you know, economically viable. So it's a mid-range product and we wanted it to be sensible. So you won't necessarily find, you know, a fuchsia or um, a lime green that might be in fashion this year. You're going to find base colors that you can keep in your wardrobe for a long period of time. We are very base <laughs> color people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you don't know how old all this is because it still works. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. so it, we're trying to be socially conscious. And we had one gentleman come in here one day and say, you're a very socially conscious operation. So it was going on in the back of our minds, but it's really, it, it, it clearly is coming through in the, the experience. So we're happy about that. So we pick, you know, quality fabrics and colors that will last and a locally made product in the whole shop. When we found this spot, it used to be a bowling alley, so it's a big place. This used to be a bowling alley? This used what to be year bowling was it? A bowling Back alley? Back in the 70s, but oh, when you're okay. in the shop, you can see some of the markings on the floor, and it starts to make yes, more sense. I see. That this is why it's so long and narrow. Oh, wow. So filling this space was a bit of a challenge because <laughs> yeah. we just had a small clothing line, and it came with a coffee shop, so we said, okay, let's keep that too, and it came with all this space, so we started to figure Thanks. out as we lived here for a while, how do we fill the space in a meaningful way. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of places where you can come and sit, and we, we attract um, walking groups and, and meeting groups and all kinds of groups that need you know um, more than four seats because we have the room so that's very nice and it came with the gas fireplace which is just a really uh, oh, sweet touch in, it's especially so nice. in the winter <laughs> yeah and it pretty much runs non-stop from about November till April mm. so you can come in and sit by the fire for a few minutes and we've created a nice while well, we're using it seating area mm -hmm. in front of the fire and uh, and we found some really neat things as we were cleaning up that you can come and see in the shop um, like the Encyclopedia Britannica which means something to me but not my children <laughs> and uh, a, a home learning desk from the early 1900s there's a couple of little neat treasures that we've turned up in here we also have two pianos because we have the space so we host an open mic oh and this is how we've tried to become part of the community and really embrace the local talent there's a ton of local talent in here are there certain days that you have local talent come? The account? first and third Friday of every month okay. from 7 to 9 is an open mic. And we usually set up just beside us near one piano, but really the space is so big we could do whatever we like. So we have an open mic and we have hosted some really nice events like the Night of Love and Kindness uh, for Pride. And they needed room for about 40 or 50 people and this space has the space for that. So, um, and then we've also dedicated two spots on the wall now. It started as one, but there is a need to grow where we showcase local artists. So this is one local artist, or actually two over there, and then there's another local artist here. We've hosted paint nights here. Really, the sky's the limit as far as what's possible in the space. Wow. Uh, You're embracing people to come and use your space, making it available to people of the community. I love that's that. That's when it feels um, like 
the best possible scenario. So the clothing, yes, we're very pleased with the clothing and we really needed to bring it here and give it a, a home. Um, but as we're living in the space, we also want to leverage that to be part of the community. As I was mentioning, we commuted for years, so this is our chance the last two years to really get to know the neighbors, so to speak. So how do you like your neighbors? They're good, they're good. <laughs> this whole area is changing so much. It is. It's getting so well used. Uh, years ago, we would bring the kids here for hockey. It was kind of drop in oh. and, and go. Um, now that the ice skating rink is a regular thing and the splash pad is a regular thing, it's fantastic what's going on on Main Street. It really is. So it's nice to be in amongst all the activities. You're really embedded in your community. Uh, yeah, at this point we are and we yeah. don't mind it one bit. <laughs> oh, it's so wonderful. It's just, it's so heartwarming to know that business owners like you, Leona, are here and so passionate about your community and why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah, um, I'm really enjoying it. That's so good. Well, I've enjoyed learning just a little bit about you. Thank you. And I look forward to coming and having community with you and uh, learning more about you and our community. It thank you. perfect. Thank you. Make sure you come and check it out to on Main Ahui Street. Ho or Ahui that Ho. place that used to be Cafe and Books on Main. <laughs> no, Ahui Ho. Ahui Ho. <laughs> Ahui Ho. You just have to say it a few more times and you get it. That's so right. Come in and Leona doesn't get offended if you pronounce it wrong no. like I did. It's kind of fun, right? It is. It's part of the dialogue. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the icebreaker, right, That's of right. getting to know each other and That's just right. just being uh, one with each other. So have an awesome day and see you soon at Ahui Ho Cafe House and Passive Wear. Thank you. Hey.